he put it to me best. He goes, you know, it's it's not one thing that you're out there doing. It's it's the aggregate of 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 all of the things. And I think the 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 thing you're talking about with Steve will do it. I don't know if being a part of that. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get fifty thousand new followers for it. But there were people that saw me on that live stream that had never seen me before. Now they might notice. Oh, shit, Sarasani posted that thing with Charles Barkley around the same time. Oh, there's Burke Kreischer talking about him on the Busting with the Boys podcast. It's the aggregate of every little thing that kind of puts you in those right rooms. You know what I mean? Um, the Steve Will Do It podcast was interesting. We are both in Vegas at the same time. Uh, it was Super Bowl weekend. He um, was at the Celebrity Blackjack tournament that I was fortunate enough to get invited to, too. We started talking. I knew who he was. My kids, you know, follow him and all this all this. Um, I go, dude, I want to do a, bla- a live stream blackjack to- with you. He goes, dude, I'd f- love to. And he gives me this number. We exchange numbers. Uh, calls me two days later, and I'm freaking over at Red Rock doing it with them. And, uh, you know, they got that shit down, dude. He has a whole thing down. I mean, he basically snaps his fingers. Two people are out there with their live stream cameras following him around. I'm mic'd up. If I had to do it, over, if I if I was able to do that one over again, I would, though, bro. Did you watch it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. What, did, what, what did you think? What did you think? I mean, it, looked, it looked like you were having fun. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I also will say, we keep it real. Like, on our podcast, mm-hmm. we, we, we keep it real. But that Steiny dude seemed like he was being a little uh, uh, annoying. At bro, times, right? I went back. I don't want to watch the whole thing but i'll like get clips sent to me because people like chop it up and put them on youtube or whatever and i like just crack up i i think i kind of forgot i was mic'd at a couple points oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean, I mean were... you're a man of very few words so i can start there right no. the, the, thing is, though, you, Dude. You, the thing is though you keep it re- that's the mm-hmm. one thing we really respect there's no with you yeah. right like yeah. like on, on social media and all that right say what you what you want to say you yeah. know what i mean so it's like yeah that, that, that kind of thing real recognizes real you know right. that's a big reason why we want to have you on is because you are who you are you yeah know what i mean and you say what the f- you want you know what i mean it's respectable well and i don't there was bought some ball busting going on on that thing too right so there's to this day there's some of steve's followers will comment on my instagram that i stole 40 grand from him i go what the f- are you guys talking about and then i find myself like arguing and it's like oh wait a minute steve doesn't think i stole 40 grand like they somewhere in that video somebody in the comments got the idea that i ripped him off 40 grand and steve doesn't think that it didn't happen right why am i arguing with this person accusing me this of of, on my comments you know what i mean because you really need the 40 grand right it's it's, it's like exactly they didn't they don't know what steve set up it it didn't really freaking matter what, what they meant um but but uh you know, it, it was a good time. I, I think I was a little bit, uh, I, I, I think I wasn't fully aware of how well those mics worked. I don't know when the cameras were over there and I was still back here. I didn't know you guys could still hear me. Um, and then I was trying to be funny, busting uh, actually a friend of mine's balls a little bit, Bob Mennery, and he got pissed because it, <laughs> honestly, here's the thing, dude. I was busting Bob's balls saying, because he f- with me on something before I went on there. So I'm, I go, I go, yeah, Bob said he's bigger than Happy Dad and Full Send combined. <laughs> <laughs> Obvious <laughs> joke, right, dude. Right, Obvious yeah, joke. Right, right. Well, one of Bob's little followers starts messaging him. Did you see what Sir Sonny <laughs> said about you on Steve's live stream? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, I, and I know for a fact Bob wasn't even watching it, but now he's just like, you know, because he listens to people and but uh, it was stupid. I wish I didn't actually say it because it was kind of a sensitive time because he had just re-signed to start doing some of the Full Send podcast. So it probably wasn't a good idea for me to make it a yeah, off-color joke like that. What would you, who would you be if you didn't say it, though? That's what you do. Yeah, dude. You know keep it like, real. I mean, like, like, that's ex- expected with you, bro. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, like, dude, and we're all f- friends. And anybody yeah, watching and it would know. If you're busting it. balls, you're busting balls. Exactly. So. Exactly. But the, the problem is it's also Super Bowl weekend so so do a regular weekend in las vegas but combine the you know times it up by a thousand with a million things going on so now just like you're walking and someone's in bob's ear saying you hear what sarasani said about you it's not like he's going to take the time to go back and review the tape <laughs> you know right, what i mean yeah, no. so it's just like all right man whatever and it, it honestly was you know whatever the phrase is water under the bridge or water over the bridge whatever the f- it is <laughs> <laughs> um uh it's like in two days later it, it was fine but but uh, what i'm saying though is i i i did get some clips back and I'm like dude I was a little loud and drunk on that <laughs> <laughs> you were enjoying yourself yeah. well, you're, you're small you're, you're small presence you walk in you towered over me I'm like I can't wait till I hit puberty <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ well I'm gonna tell you right now I didn't know we were gonna do it that night either I'm at the casino hanging out drinking Bloody Marys and whatever and Steve texts me hey you wanna do it tonight 
kind of like half in the bag already. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going over. <laughs> so, no, you know. they look good. Um, yeah. Speaking of Bob Menery, sure. I've had some interactions with him on Instagram, uh, just just briefly in DMs or whatnot, uh, as we were starting to get the uh, the social, trying to figure out the social media world. Yeah. And Bob's a prominent figure on the podcast scene. <laughs> um, were you there when he got... Uh, filleted on that that milk podcast because i don't know dana white's like oh your sugar daddy was that was you he was talking about. no it wasn't that, it, well, wasn't, it wasn't you. no I no sure. and in fact me and bob were even talking around that time i had a couple of people um that that said that and uh I, i'm not sure exactly who was being referred to he 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 is friends with another guy named john who who's a, a um a businessman out in uh, arizona who i've met a few times is a really good guy i don't know if that's who dana was referring to or what oh, okay. but dana has only met me once and that was through steve will do it so i don't even know if dave knows i'm associated with bob okay yeah yeah but you're like the third person that's brought that up to me by the way yeah so. yeah it sounds like yeah. for sure that was you Are yeah you no it wasn't it how? wasn't the, the, the only thing of the, bob's followers got to know me because last summer um he was in west hollywood and i let him stay in my place he was supposed to stay there for two days and ended up staying in my condo in uh west hollywood for like a month <laughs> so we started doing a funny like kind of an instagram spiel about it like remember the movie what about bob back in the day oh, yeah, where, where yeah, bill, yeah. bill murray wouldn't leave yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and then and then mysteriously i got pink eye when i visited and i'm like dude what the going on in here i fall asleep <laughs> i fall asleep on a couch like this and it ended up being the worst case of pink eye my, my opto- ophthalmologist right down the street from here he goes i've been doing this for 30 years this is the worst case of pink eye i've ever seen <laughs> dude i had pink eye for four f- months it ruined my summer dude <laughs> like, Bob, you got a bottles bro you're <laughs> Couch, dog. Yeah, it was pretty effing funny, dude. It was funny, but I was getting, like really worried about my eye. It was getting, <laughs> it was getting to the point where like you start to worry that it's never gonna heal. Yeah, like, it was just fuck. swollen, dude. It was like imagine somebody with pink eye, but like oh, yeah. that bad for four months, and it was getting worse each day. And it, it got to the point where um the inside of my effing eyelid started to have like abrasions on the inside of my eyelid. So it hurt all the time, like somebody's poking you in the eye. So I always had the sensation with my eyelid, like that I was getting poked in the eye, but it was really by like, like I had an eyelash in my eye, but it's really just the abrasions. So we had to start wearing corrective, like contact lenses to like, well, you protect, protect that bad pink dude. It was so f- bad, dude. It's so f- bad. And you're, and, you're uh, an eye doctor, bro. I got upgraded three different times. So, so I went to the minute clinic at first and they look at me and they go, ooh, you need to see a f- opt- optometrist. And then I go to see the f- And I couldn't get in the optometrist for like three days. I'm hoping this pink eye, it's going to go away after a few days. It's been like five days now. So in between, somebody puts it in my, in my head that it might be gonorrhea in the eye. <laughs> So I <laughs> wait, dude, I'm, dude, I'm waiting for the optometrist appointment. I've never told the surgeon. So I'm waiting for the optometrist appointment. So I go to like my urologist, and uh, they're kind of laughing at me. They go like, "Babies get gonorrhea in the eye. Adults don't usually, unless you like." What were you doing with your eye, buddy? <laughs> well, you know, I was, uh, you know, so uh, sleeping on the couch. So I'm like, just in case, because honestly, I fell asleep on that couch. I don't know whose bare ass was on that couch. You know what I mean? So um I uh, uh they, they end up um they end up doing the STD test but those are going to take a few days and I go listen this is a real fucking I dude so I, I I had to do a regular STD test yeah. to see if I have anything you know what I mean and uh I go listen I don't want to wait if I have something here so they end up giving me um a shot in my ass oh I don't know it's penicillin Penicil- or whatever yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right so I did that. Okay, the last TD test come back two days later. I ended up not having anything, and it wasn't gonorrhea. It's just a bad case of pink eye. Okay, but we didn't. We weren't sure at this time. Okay, I go to the optometrist. Okay, the next day. All right, at the optometrist, she's looking at my eye, and she's like, "Oh my god!" Like, oh, making noises and stuff. And now you're looking at it out more. It's like, dude, that's your job. So. I got like a side effect from the shot the day before and got like super nauseous and like sweaty. And as she's looking at me, and now I had pink eye now for like eight days. This is getting on my nerves. I like start to freak out and start sweating at the optometrist. Okay. <laughs> she 
calls the ambulance. <laughs> I have to talk the ambulance out of taking to the emergency room. Because like, I, I never told her. I never told her about the shot the day before. So the, now in, I, in hindsight, I look back and figure out, okay, it was probably from that shot. But like, she like thought like something was like really wrong with me and like literally called the ambulance to the paramedic. <laughs> um, so anyway, I end up going to the, um, anyway, I end up going to the primary care physician. He ends up then referring me to an opt ophthalmologist. And this guy, his name is Dr. Uh, God, what the fuck is it? Dr. Mack right in Hoffman Estates right here. And uh, he was good, man. He's been, he's been around the block and he goes, whoo, it's one of the worst cases I ever seen. <laughs> like, Thanks buddy. Thanks man. <laughs> and then he's scaring the out of me he goes you want to wear this protective lens but i'm gonna tell you right now don't go into a pool because if chlorine gets behind it and it gets stuck amoebas could form behind your eye and you don't want that i'm could telling you you, you don't want eye? that can you lose your eye from pink eye how does that work yeah i mean like, it could lead to other things that oh, that gosh. cause i mean it was getting pretty bad I man it, dude it, it took three months yeah like, so the guy who laid on that couch bare ass yeah take a shower dude exactly, Jesus, dude. Dude. do something Let's bro go over bob head over at the place. <laughs> yeah what a yeah. nightmare dude it's worse it was you, the worst bro. you guys made some good content though i watched those uh yeah. pods that you guys did while he was staying with you how did yeah. you how did you link up with him he's a wild man by the he, way dude he was on my podcast um and i was i was just getting go oh, i'd been doing it for a little bit but but i wasn't really that popular yet or whatever and then um he asked me he was <laughs> he, he wanted to do this podcast in boston um interviewing these kids that got attacked by a bear in in wyoming and they were flying and i got these bear kids coming in who you look it up on google these kids got, <laughs> the kids got mauled by a bear and blah blah, blah. And, and they they played college athletics and he thought i would fit in well with it and anyway so he had me come out to be a co-host on on that pod and we spent the weekend together and uh we just kind of started hanging out yeah it's good he he never actually ended up airing that podcast either <laughs> like came on out, out there for no reason but uh it was good content yeah no yeah. he he he's he is a walking comedy skit with some of the shit he posts on instagram man some of those videos are absolutely out incredible you know he's funny man so yeah if he just sticks to the voiceovers i think he'd probably have you know triple the following to be honest with you he's so funny with those voiceovers man it's yeah.